Hello? I see you through my glasses. Can you put on a pair of glasses? Oh, let's put them down. I got a book. Put your hands together. You can make a book too. And then we can open it. Oh my goodness, there's a pink snake in there. Shut the book. Let's go again, okay? Open it slow. Oh my goodness, there's a purple dinosaur. Shut the book. Oh, that was close. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book last time. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses. And open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Nice job. All right, preschoolers, let's take a look at our book. Oh, what do you notice here? Do you see a person or an animal? An animal, you're right. How many do we see? Let's count. One, two. What type of animal do you think it is? A fish? I think so too. Maybe they're goldfish. We'll find out. Let's get out reading finger and read the title of our book. Paul meets Bernadette. Oh, reading finger jumps down here. There's only one name here. So how many jobs does this person have? Two jobs, they have two jobs. They're the author, they're the person that writes the words, and they're the illustrator, and they paint the pictures. Here we go, let's read their name. Rosie Lamb. Let's open up our book. Ooh, here's our title page. Let's get out reading finger and read it one more time. Paul meets Bernadette. Turn that page. Paul used to go around in circles. Turn that page. He made big circles, big circles. and little circles. Little circles. Turn that page. He circled from left to right. Left to right. And from right to left. Turn that page. He circled from top to bottom and from bottom to top. Turn that page. And then one day, Bernadette dropped in. Plop. Turn that page. What are you doing? Bernadette asked Paul. I'm going round and round, says Paul. What else is there to do? Haven't you ever noticed that there's a whole world out there? There are so many things to see. Come look over here. Hmm. 
What do you think Paul and Bernadette are seeing? Hmm. Let's see if they're right. Turn that page. What do you think that yellow thing is? Asked Bernadette. Hmm. says Paul. That, says Bernadette, is a boat. Preschoolers, is this a boat? No, it's a banana. <gasps> Paul and Bernadette think this is a boat. It maybe has a similar shape, huh? Turn that page. Paul, come over here, says Bernadette. Do you see the forest with the trees of every color? Yes, I do, says Paul. <gasps> How enchanting. Preschoolers, is this a forest? A forest of trees? No. Look at, this is a vase with flowers. This is a bouquet of flowers. Turn that page. Do you see that round thing off in the distance? What do you think that is? Asked Bernadette. I just can't think, says Paul. That, says Bernadette, is a cactus. <laughs> Preschoolers, is this a cactus? Mm -mm. You know what, thumbs down if you have seen something that looks like this before. Or thumbs up, I mean, thumbs up. Thumbs down if you haven't. Oh, a few of us haven't. This is a clock. There aren't that many clocks that look like this anymore, but this is a clock and it tells us what time it is. Turn that page. Ah, says Paul. And what is that draped up there? Hmm. Oh, that is a dress. Of course, of course. What else could it be? Paul says. And I think it would look very pretty on you. Oh, look at it. They think this is a dress. Not a dress, though, is it? It's a newspaper. But look at it. Paul is thinking that Bernadette would look so beautiful with it. Turn that page. Paul spot something big and blue. What is that? He asked Bernadette. That, says Bernadette, is an elephant. <gasps> oh my gosh, what part do you think reminds them of an elephant? Maybe this part, does it look like a trunk? <laughs> this is a teapot. They saw a teapot. Turn that page. Is she a dangerous elephant? Asked Paul. She is not too dangerous, Bernadette tells Paul. But you must not disturb her when she is feeding her babies. <laughs> Look at, they think that when the teapot is pouring tea into the teacups, she's feeding her babies. Oh, turn that page. Look, look up over there. Bernadette exclaims, a lunetta butterfly. How lovely she is. Thanks, Paul. <gasps> Preschoolers, what are these? Glasses, they found some glasses. Turn that page. And do you see the tall buildings over there? Says Bernadette. That is a city. What is the name of that city? Asked Paul. Milwaukee, Bernadette tells him. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this really a city? No, some juice, it's like orange juice and some orange juice and some cups and some milk. Turn that page. And those two big bright yellow circles down there? Fried eggs. Paul asks Bernadette, right? Are you crazy? Says Bernadette. Of course they are not fried eggs. 
That is the sun and the moon. Oh my gosh, preschoolers, are they fried eggs? They are, they are fried eggs. Turn that page. There is just one more thing in the whole world, says Bernadette. What is it? asked Paul. Bernadette motions down below and tells him, it's a, turn that page. A fish! Look at, they think they see a fish. Preschoolers, what is this? It's a spoon, it's a spoon. Turn that page. Bernadette has shown Paul the whole world. And so Paul doesn't go around in circles anymore. He has something so much better to do. Turn that page. Now Paul goes around Bernadette. Turn that page. That's the end. Thank you so much for reading. Preschoolers, will you stand up so we can sing goodbye? It's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Blow a little kiss. It's time to say goodbye. First, can you touch your nose? Then, can you touch your toes? Then, can you turn around? It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye now. It's time to say goodbye. Blow a little kiss. It's time to say goodbye.